There's a lot of talk today on tour about hitting a low spinner, a chip shot, which by definition is a low shot. A lot of players are using their lob wedges, ball back, hitting it with a lot of forward shaft lean, and they want to spin the ball and have it stop quickly. Well, there's two things that help a ball to stop. One is spin, the other is land angle. So if we're really talking about where do we want the ball to land on the green, how much do we want it to roll, there's more than one way to do it. But it's important to understand that there are more than one way to hit a shot. And there is a low release where you release against your lead arm and the club doesn't go much past it. That's what these guys are doing, hitting a low spinner. And then there's the high trajectory where we're using our hands and letting the club pass the lead arm. That's a high trajectory release. So when you look at these shots, here I am, I'm gonna show you hitting a couple shots. And the problem with these shots is if I use my hands, I'm gonna have some bounce, but if I don't use my hands, if I pull, turn, and try and keep the club face open, there's no bounce. So here I am pulling and turning, and you can see there's that low release, the club not going much past it. And then on the right, you're going to see now I'm going to let, let the club pass. I'm using my hands. And now I have bounce. And bounce is your friend and bounce gives you room for error behind the ball where you hit the ground. Now what can happen if you're trying to pull turn and keep the face open is all of a sudden that sharp leading edge catches. If you just go down a little bit, if you don't get that handle raising and turning through, uh-oh. And if that happens and you hit just a little bit behind the ball, there's the chunk. There's the thing everybody's worried about. But if you allow yourself to feel a little bit of a throw and use some bounce, now all of a sudden, look at the grass. See, there's the bounce interacting with the turf. Notice that ball taking off a little higher. I'm pitching it back to that back hole location. So really, it's about understanding using bounce and not using bounce. And when you don't use any bounce, you better hit the ball first. And when you use bounce, you have more room for error. So that's why I've always been a fan of feeling a little bit of a throw with the hands because that helps us use the bounce. Because if you pull turn and have a lot of angle and hit a little behind it, <clears throat> there's no bounce and there is the chunk. So not what you want. So when you work on your short game, work on low shots and high shots, but if you use bounce, you're gonna have more room for error. Bob Oakey says, bounce is your friend. Thanks.